there, and welcome to another FAQ Monday. I'm your host, Fluff, and today we are going to answer more questions. That's right, there's more. I thought we ran out after last week, but you know what? I was totally wrong. <laughs> First question. Got any tips for multiband compression? Which plugins do you find useful? As far as actual plugins, it really starts and stops for me personally with the Fab Filter MB plugin, which is like $150, I think, somewhere around there. Money well spent is worth every cent, and I personally like to use it on bass, and lately, the only place I've really had it is my bass bus and my mix bus, believe it or not. I'll have it on there, just kind of lightly kissing everything, just to keep everything kind of nice and even, and I won't have it on anything else, or in the rest repose uh, record, for, for example, uh, I used a multiband compressor on the guitars on a very specific frequency, which in this case was like a 200 hertz um, on generator in particular. The palm mutes were getting really woofy, and so I just uh, put a multiband compressor on it and just used it on a single band, 200 hertz, just to keep the woofiness down of the palm mutes, and it worked great. Things like that, it's very, very useful for, but just be careful on overusing something like a multiband compressor because uh, it'll get you. Hey Fluff, I'm starting out in recording and mixing and I was wondering what plugins should I use? There's a crap ton and I'm wondering which ones would be suitable for a beginner. The answer for you, good sir, is none. Don't go out and buy any plugins at all yet. Wait, you know what, wait six months, wait a year. Use whatever stock plugins that your DAW has first to just get familiar with what you're doing. A huge mistake I'm seeing a lot of people make is Okay, they're, they wanna start mixing, so they're gonna go buy a Waves bundle. That doesn't, that's not gonna make you any better, any quicker. You have to put in the time and to learn how the basics work. And any stock DAW, uh, any stock DAW's plugins are gonna be great these days. Um, it was not so much the case about 10 years ago, but all of the DAWs have very high quality plugins these days. And the great Reaper has great plugins. That's what I learned on is Reaper. I've talked about this before, but Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, they all have wonderful, wonderful stock plugins. Use those first and don't buy anything for six months to a year. You'll be better for it, I promise. Can you demo the Randall Century already? I know, I know, I will get to it, I promise. I actually recently, sorry, I got rid, I had two Randall Century 170s. I had a Mark One and a Mark II. I got rid of the Mark One, and then I was contacted by a viewer, a wonderful, wonderful viewer, and he sold me his original Randall Century 200 head, 200 Mark II, V Pantera Dimebag spec amp. And I am working on comparing the two and kind of doing a thing. I'm also thinking about taking my triple rectifier and mixing, mixing it with the Randall Century to do kind of a fun recreate White Zombies classic Astro Creep 2000 tone, which is what Jay Younger used. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just really, really busy, I'm sorry, but there will be Randall Century content on this channel very soon, I promise. My suggestion to you this week is to go check out and buy the pre-order for the new Thrice record, because guys, there's a new Thrice record, and I'm so excited. And if you've never heard of Thrice, you should, you should dive deep into the catalog and just get lost in it, because Thrice is one of the most brilliant bands to come out in the last 20 years easily. And there's something for everyone in their catalog. I am so excited and I hope you are too about Price's new record. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.